Oh, we're back from stripping down all those plugs. So that's 45 uh, sealed plugs, which is the ones that are uh, molded, not the ones you can take apart. Uh, which ones you can take apart, you can recover more brass, more uh, copper than you can on these types, uh, because you can get to the insides. A lot of these still brass and copper left inside, you can't get to, and it's not feasible to cut them all apart to get them so this is just to get the quickest and simplest stuff off them so so we've got the plug the fuses copper and all the brass so we'll weigh these up so just out of curiosity fuses is 95 grams which money wise I don't take the fuse into account even though majority of the ends of brass and there's mixed views on the internet of the filament inside whether it's silver nickel copper brass or whatever so I don't really worry about these I do do keep them and store them but when I get a large amount, like 10, 20 kilos of them, then I'll look into what the scrap value is of them. But I'll just keep holding them for now. And then there's the copper. Tear it. And that's 26 grams. Yep. And then the brass. Five hundred and seventy nine grams of the mixed brass. Let's move the cars out of the way. So Here we go. So, plugs to start off with, we had 3.1 kilograms. The local yards near me that buy the plugs as they are, uh, and you pay 40 pence per kilo. So 3.1 kilo, 40 pence per kilo, is one pound 24. That's UK pounds and 24 pence. Uh, copper, the average local around here, is five pound and 40 pence per kilogram so 26 grams that only work out to 13 pence worth of copper uh, yeah copper brass that's uh, they pay about three pound 50 per kilogram so that's 579 grams so that works out at two pound and two pence so between the copper and the brass, that's a total. One, one second, my daughter. <laughs> so the total of that is two pound and fifteen pence out of, like I say, the brass and the copper. So if you strip them down, you're getting two pound fifteen. But if you sell them as is, without doing anything, you get one pound twenty-four. So that's only ninety-one pence profit extra you're making by stripping them all down. Which it took forty-five and a half minutes to take all of them apart. Which taking them all apart to make a ninety-one pence profit. 45 minutes so that roughly works out an hourly rate of one pound and 21 pence which a lot of people would say that's not worth your time which <laughs> yeah if you're not doing something else that you could be earning more money obviously it's not worth it 
but if say for instance you're sitting there watching TV and you've got those plugs get 10 plugs and just take them apart while you're watching TV then you're earning a bit of money while you're watching TV then sitting there wasting time watching TV or whatever and then so it's different people have different views to me I enjoy taking them apart um, and then the money that it brings me later on is a bonus I just like it. spending the time spending the time taking them apart it's therapeutic for me so it's brilliant um, the one thing I will say is I did about 80 plugs yesterday um, and doing these today <laughs> my fingers are sore today I'm going to end up with blisters later I'll probably be crying so I would advise if you've got a lot of them don't do them together because you will end up with sore fingers and blisters is do 10 21 day do some next day leave it day do some more like I don't do large amount in one go because you probably will be crying because your fingers it does take a lot of wear and tear so here's the rundown but like I say it's not worth it in some senses but if you enjoy doing it it increases the value now and if you have fun doing it but if you're doing it solely just to make money and you're not don't enjoy doing it I wouldn't bother uh, and then what I what I do then is when I put these in the other tubs where I sort them is I like to keep everything separate is the nice yellow clean brass I chuck in one container and all the coated white brass I stick in another container because the yellow brass tub looks nice when it's all just that plus I've got future plans for the clean stuff which we're going to detail that in the future which will increase the value of these but we'll get into that later on and um, hope this has been helpful even though there's lots of videos out there showing it's not worth it I just thought I'd have a go and do the same kind of thing and put my views on stuff so I'll uh, leave you all in peace and um, thanks for watching if you've got this far and you've not fallen asleep and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.